Quotes from, John Flavel. From the Kindle, Deep Christian Quotes and Bible Verses. First quote. After the image of God, in which self-dependence is removed by faith, self-love, by the love of God, self-will, by subjection and obedience to the will of God, and self-seeking by self-denial. The darkened understanding is illuminated, the refractory will sweetly subdued, the rebellious appetite gradually conquered. Thus the soul which sin had universally depraved, is by grace restored. Second quote. Is Jesus Christ altogether lovely? Then I beseech you to set your souls upon this lovely Jesus. I am sure such an object as has been here represented, would compel love from the coldest breast and hardest heart. Away with those empty nothings, away with this vain deceitful world, which deserves not the thousandth part of the love you give it. Let all stand aside and give way to Christ. Oh, if only you knew his worth and excellency, what he is in himself, what he has done for you, and deserved from you. You would need no arguments of mine to persuade you to love him. Third quote. Esteem nothing lovely except as it is enjoyed in Christ, or used for the sake of Christ. Love nothing for itself, love nothing separate from Jesus Christ. In two things we all sin in love of created things. We sin in the excess of our affections, loving them above the proper value of mere created things. We also sin in the inordinacy of our affections, that is to say we give our love for created things a priority it should never have. Fourth quote. Let us all be humbled for the corruption of our hearts that are so eager in their affections for vanities and trifles and so hard to be persuaded to the love of Christ, who is altogether lovely. Oh! How many pour out streams of love and delight upon the vain and empty created thing! While no arguments can draw forth one drop of love from their stubborn and unbelieving hearts to Jesus Christ. Fifth quote. Represent Christ to the world as he is, by your behavior towards him. Is he altogether lovely? Let all the world see and know that he is so, by your delights in him and communion with him, zeal for him, and readiness to part with any other lovely thing upon his account. Sixth quote. Never be ashamed to be counted as a Christian. He is altogether lovely. He can never be ashamed to you. It will be your great sin to be ashamed of him. Some men glory in their shame. Do not let yourself be ashamed of your glory. If you will be ashamed of Christ now, he will be ashamed of you when he shall appear in his own glory, and the glory of all his holy angels. Be ashamed of nothing but sin. And among other sins, be ashamed especially for this sin, that you have no more love for him who is altogether lovely. Seventh quote. Be willing to leave everything that is lovely upon earth, in order that you may be with the altogether lovely Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. Lift up your voices with the bride, Revelations 2020. Come Lord Jesus, come quickly. It is true, you must pass through the pangs of death into his intimacy and enjoyment. But surely it is worth suffering much more than that, to be with this lovely Jesus. The Lord direct your hearts into the love of God, and the patient waiting for Jesus Christ, 2 Thessalonians 3 5. Thanks.